intern good morning good morning good morning we are here in the panda exhibit trying to keep our eyes peeled for the pandas where are they okay they're not in their little barn all right are they over here those are our beautiful oriental cranes look at these glorious creatures <gasps> i'm so in love with them oh look at them snooze oh i'm sorry buddy i didn't mean to wake you up there you go there you go guys all right there's our cranes Here's some bird poop. Apparently, there we go. Scooping up that bird poop. <gasps> Intern, we need to put down the compost bin. Oh, we were supposed to do that weeks ago and we totally forgot. Oh, and there's our pandas. Here we go. Here's a happy little panda waddling around its bamboo. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, there they all are. So all of our pandas are hanging out over here, but it seems like they're doing just fine. I know that we definitely have some mating going on. I know we've got somebody who's pregnant. Let me see. Who is pregnant? It's not you. It's not you. You're both boys. It's her! There she is! I'm going to name her Lele. And she is our new... Oops, Lele. There we go. And she's our new little pregnant panda. I'm so excited! Our zoo has gained so much amazing fame for the fact that we have... Oh, and it's a sleeping stork! Ah, oh, it's so cute. I love it. But our zoo has gained so, so, so much fame for the fact that... <gasps> Another panda pregnant right behind us! Pregnancy just happened! Didn't even see it happen! Where are you? Okay, that happened! She just like was walking by the other panda. I, if only it was that easy for all pandas to get pregnant, then we wouldn't have a problem with them being so endangered. Goodness! Oh, and it looks like we have another raccoon who wants to mate. <gasps> Playing chase! Oh, see, that's one of the things we need to get pictures of. If I had known you guys played chase with each other, I totally would have pulled that off. But all right, so he's playing chase with a sibling, I think. Hang on just a second. Wants to mate, can't find, oh, she, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and release her to the wild because we already have so many raccoons and they are an endangered species of island raccoon, kind of down in your Central America area, if I remember correctly, live on an island, very endangered mostly due to habitat loss. They eat primarily fruits, very adorable creatures. All right, and it looks like our Sumatran striped rabbit exhibit is as popular as always. There's the helicopter. And the delicious coconut drink stand is still going. Good, there's our storks. Is this a happy lady? Oh, she's so happy. Look, she's happy. Yay! Are you happy? Yay, he's happy. Oh, this dude is great. I really want to eat at the restaurant. Oh, that reminds me, intern. Oh, and where's the big poop? Oh, there's apparently some big poop from these guys that cannot be reached. So, oh, gross. Oh, right at eye level. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, nasty. All right, but we got to keep this area clean. Got to keep them clean. <gasps> the water filters! The water filters in turn. Oh, we should have the water filters now. Good memory. Good memory. All right. There's so many things that we've forgotten that we were supposed to get done. All right. So let's put the water filter there. Set it on frequent upkeep. And this should be opened up so that we can have our maintenance come through this little zookeeper area and maintain uh, the area properly. Also, how's our little tea reptile? In fact, we need to call it reptile. Reptile, chest, and tea. Uh... Let's see, T and reptile chest. There we go, that'll work. And let's set the prices to just low because we actually don't need to charge a lot since we have a bazillion and a half dollars from those unexpected uh, donation places. Guests would like a place to sit and eat. So I think that's a plea for more restaurants. All right, intern, well, we're actually gonna respond to that plea. Also, let's check on the orangutans. We need to redo their exhibit a little bit. Oh, somebody needs a bath, that's why. All right, hang on, intern. We're going to redo the orangutan exhibit just a bit. Whoa, intern. Small shovel, please. Small shovel. We're not. When I say just a bit, I mean just a bit, not break out the cliff-making shovels. And in fact, we're actually going to pull this down a little bit. Good. Okay, let's pull it down a little bit more. Good. Okay. All right. I think we pretty much just flattened the entire area. But I think our orangutans are going to like that a lot more. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we're actually going to swap the stone walls out for the nicer stone walls. Let's see. People are using... Whoa! Hey there! We've got... Oh, it's because we were trying to build an aquarium area. All right. There we go. All right. Hang on, intern. There. All right. So yeah, even though it's kind of weird, <laughs> we're going to sprinkle a couple stone walls there. I'm just going to put stone walls right here kind of to provide some nice privacy and we'll come along here 
I know it may seem like a waste of money, but I actually feel like this is a pretty good thing to do for our orangutans. They haven't really complained about people watching them too much, but I would still like to give them kind of a sense of privacy where we can manage it. So I think right here, we'll give them some privacy. Right here, and then right along this corner. They don't need anyone staring at them from that angle. However, we will have another viewing spot right there. And I'm going to fill this in. There we go. I feel like the Rangting family will have a little bit more appropriate levels of privacy now. And actually, we might just go ahead. There we go. Nice. We'll have, eventually, we'll have people connected up on this area, too, after all. In fact, we're probably going to actually scooch this. There. See? We're, we're adjusting quite a bit of the zoo. And we really are, because we're getting ready to expand! Hopefully the Clouded Leopard will be a new addition pretty soon. But over here is actually where I want to put another restaurant in turn. So let's go ahead. We want to try to attract more people back. We have tigers back here, for crying out loud. You think more people would just rush to see the Bengal tigers. Um, and let's see. I need to find where the heck the restaurants have gone because we're going to put down a little cafe by the bay over here cafe on the bay should be really really yummy and we're going to put that right there and i think that's perfect because then oops and yeah the zookeepers can still get in and out from there but we're actually going to close this up there you go there's plenty of other zookeeper entrances scattered throughout here. But this should hopefully attract more people back here. We'll make it nice and cheap. And we're going to call it the Tiger Cafe. So it's a cafe on a bay and it serves kind of like your seafood mixes and your fruit mixes. But these are tigers that we kind of have representing a mangrove environment. So hopefully that'll go well. And I hope, I mean, we've, there's pandas and tigers back here. You'd think more people would be rushing to come back here. And yet they're not. Hmm. Hmm. Princess is pregnant. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's try this out. I was thinking, in turn, that it would be a good idea if we did kind of connect all of the paths up. So let's do this. Let's have it come out three, like that. And then let's have it, should we come down like this? Yeah, I think we'll come down like this where it's like that. Okay, good job intern. And then we'll swap it over so it can move and then we'll have a little stop over for viewing these guys right here. Oops, too far over intern, too far over. Oops, is there another escaped rabbit? All right, you crafty little one. You're stuck somewhere. So we're gonna move you over there, little baby. There, that should help that rabbit out. Oh my gosh, it's only December of year two. Holy days. We're doing really good on building this place up if you ask me in turn. Normally it takes us years to get any work done. All right, so then there's that. We're gonna come down like so. Good, good, good. Come down and let's see, should I? Yeah, we'll come over like this. There we go. So we're starting to create connection spots through our zoo. And now we're gonna come down again around the red pandas. I think we're actually going to not put a viewing spot on this side. And we'll come up here. There we go, in turn. So what we have done here, oh my goodness, there, whoops. Exemplary Entertainment Award, wow! Congratulations, you've received the Exemplary Entertainment Award for earning more than $100,000 in animal donations. Oh, that makes me so happy! And we're getting really close to the educational entertainment, but what I really always am striving to get in every single one of our parks, if I can find it, let me see, where, where are you? It's the headset kiosk, and the headset kiosk requires, there it is, Endangered Species Award, adopt 20, oh, no, wait, this is the decorative wall columns, dang it, <laughs> I knew that didn't sound quite right, there we go, raise $125,000 in educational donations to make the headset kiosk available for purchase in your zoo. That's what my goal always is, so you know what, that just fired me up, because we should definitely add a ton more educators in our zoo. We should have educators everywhere. Funding is no longer an issue as far as we're concerned, so I might as well just make sure the whole place is totally covered in educators. All right, let's come over here. We're gonna put down a fountain right there. Awesome, absolutely awesome. 
Yay! So we became more famous! Woohoo! Woohoo! Good job, intern. And now we're going to make this last connection right here. And this is actually where I was thinking we'll put one of the first gift shops. Because we do have a lot of people... Look at all these people up here. We have a lot of people over here. So I'm kind of hoping that we might be able to entice them to wear our stuff. Because it's so fun seeing them wear our stuff. Even if we don't need the money, it is so fun to see them wear our stuff. Uh, so let's see. Ah, there's the gift shop. So let's see if we can fix this up so that people will come over here and try out our gear because it is so exciting to see people wear our stuff. All right, so there's that. There's our little gift shop. And we've made quite a few spots. I purposely made sure everything was three wide so that we can put down those. There we go. Panther Chameleon 6 has just hatched! Yay! And Red Panda 5 wants to reproduce but can't find a mate. Oh, so I wonder if that means the other Red Pandas have paired off. Let's see. Red Panda 5 is a female and she is going to go rest in the elevated nest box. If we add in any more... Ooh, let's put in a hollow tree shelter. This would be perfect for them. Right there. There we go. Maybe another one right over here. Da-da. There we go. And we could add in more red pandas, because people really love the red pandas. They don't really seem to see, like, they don't really seem to be that bothered by each other either. Oh man, look at all these creatures. Oh, I love this. I love the work that we do in this zoo intern. It's just amazing. All right. Oops. Tell me I didn't just do something. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I just threw some animal in there, and I was like, oh no, what have I done? But we're okay. We're okay. I didn't toss something in the red panda exhibit unexpectedly. Like a barracuda. Can you imagine if I just accidentally threw a barracuda in there? Ugh. That just wouldn't fly. Alright, so let's see. Trump or not temperate rainforest. Ooh, look at all these guys. Hello, everybody. Hi! European wildcat, we've got you in some of our exhibits. Tropical rainforest. Ah, the greater mouse deer! <gasps> Greater Mouse Deer! Oh, we should add this little one in somewhere. Oh, maybe over here? No, this is going to be where we put the um, the Clouded Leopard, I think. Maybe we'll put the Greater Mouse Deer over here. Oh my gosh, I love Greater Mouse Deer. They're just so precious. We'll definitely have to add one of them in. And definitely the Spotted Deer. And not forgetting the Asian Elephants, also a huge deal. Maybe some Black Leopards? Melanistic Leopards is what they really should be called. Um, so I kind of go back and forth on that. All right, let's see. Jaguars would be really awesome. Yes, jaguars. Yes, I want jaguars. <laughs> that would be fantastic, adding jaguars. Oh, anyway, I need to focus. Where the heck, where the heck have our little ones gone? Uh, endangered? Panda? There you are. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to get... There we go. Another red panda in here. So there's another male red panda to join in the family, join in the group. And <gasps> people are coming over here. Oh, and Leila is about to give birth. Oh my gosh, look at all the people. We need to put more gift shops down, that is for sure. And let's look at the panda baby be born. Oh, look at her wiggle. Oh, isn't she so precious? Please don't go behind somewhere where it's going to be really hard for your baby to be born. Oh, are you going right here? <gasps> oh! <laughs> The stork has the the stork just brought a baby panda in turn. Wow! So it does work like that. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Stork, for delivering this baby panda. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm so glad. That's really helpful. That's hilarious. That was possibly one of the funniest things that has happened in ages. And now, because the panda is a mammal, mammals feed their young primarily through milk, which is awesome. So she actually is converting a whole bunch of energy and nutrients and fat from her body and calories and everything. That's why nursing mothers need so much more food into food for her baby. So there we go. And listen to it bark. 
And when nursing mammals give their children young, including humans, they usually have a whole bunch of awesome antibodies. Their immune system will start kicking out antibodies that they already know because your immune system learns as you live and through the things that you experience. So that panda mama, with whatever colds, diseases, issues that she's run into before for a lot of diseases and whatever antibodies she knows, just made it so that she could give her little baby uh, those antibodies. At least a few of them, a lot more than what would normally, um, like you, what you start with. So that's fantastic. That's an awesome reason that mammals breastfeed uh, or give milk, I should say. And also, don't forget that you got good little gut health, and that is vital for a panda. Pandas biologically are not actually experts at converting plant food into energy. They actually have the wrong gut for it. They have the wrong interior inside organs to convert bamboo efficiently. So they're kind of living on the edge. They're converting a very small percentage of the actual bamboo that they eat into food because they're just not built right for it. They've managed to survive this long and they'll probably still survive for, for centuries if we can keep them alive through not destroying their habitat habitat much longer by eating the bamboo, but they're not optimized for that feeding. So I thought that was fascinating, but all the research just points at the fact that they're still part of the bear family. And ideally, oh, there we go. I love it. I love it when they do that. Why is Jojo sick? Where's Jojo? Jojo. Uh oh, but yeah, so pandas, um, Jojo, our orangutans are having a really hard time. We got it. We have to work on their exhibit now. That's for sure. All right, I think we just need, oh, it's because there's so much poop. I think we just need an, more zookeepers on duty. So let's hire some more because we just, we can't have enough. And you're going to be purely an orangutan zookeeper. So you are now orangutan. Keeper, right. There we go. But just to finish up on what I was saying about the pandas intern, what happens then... Here we go again. <gasps> Intern, it's over. Sorry about that. We had to move her. Oh my gosh, that was so quick. We had to move her out of the way so that she would be nice and comfortable. And I know I knocked you over while we were doing that intern, but oh my goodness, look. <gasps> Do we have two more babies? We have two more babies. Two more tiger cubs. How perfect is that? Congratulations, mama. Oh, and Lily is going to give birth. Lily, didn't you already just give birth? I don't remember. No, she just got pregnant. She just, no, well, wait, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I don't know. Okay, well, we're having a panda birth again. We'll figure this out, we'll figure this out. There might have been a crashing meteor involved, but we're sorting everything out in turn. And look at that happy black crane. And Lily is giving birth in this little corner. Let's see if it's a girl or a boy. She's hiding. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. Aren't they just gorgeous? Lily, are you in here still? Lily, Lily, is that you? That's you, Lily, congratulations. Now I'm stuck and we're gonna groom this stork. And there's the baby. Oh, Lily, congrats. I'm so excited. More panda babies. Ah, oh, we're just gaining so much fame for that too. All right, so let's see. Yep, just one little baby this time. Is it a boy or girl? Let's welcome it to the world. It is a little girl, so welcome, little one. She's coming over to investigate the bamboo and see how everything goes. So she's Lele, so I'm gonna name her Leah Leah. There we go, Leah Leah and Lele. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. What a cute little baby. All right, let's get down and make sure she doesn't eat scrubbed. Yeah, she's good, all right. Well, whew. all right, today has been a very busy day, intern, and as always, it is such a thrill to see the endangered species of the world and the non-endangered ones, too, give birth to so many babies and develop and form so many amazing family bonds. So, we will have to do quite a bit of work next time so that we can finish up uh, kind of expanding the exhibits, getting them all tidied up. And I do want to build this area up very special so that we can have our clouded leopard in here and hopefully keep the exhibit kind of secluded in a way so she doesn't feel overwhelmed. But then down along here, I'm hoping we can add the deer mouse in. So that would be so fun. But all right, intern, let's go get some rest and I will meet you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.